actually, before I read this, I'm going to give you a clue, y'all. <laughs> Be right back. I'm going to grab my Bible. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to go right to where, if you're paying attention, how to read your Bible. And if you know that if they stole the knowledge, right? If they're following a script, okay, per se. If they're following a script, then follow the script. God's calendar is the sky, it's the stars, it has everything. It's like a ping pong ball with those stars, bing, 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 frequency and time when you popped into this world a whole bit. They stole all that from you. How does it make you feel? You still want to believe that it's evil to know about the constellations and what's above your head? You want to think it's evil? to know how they rotate. There's a, these, there's people, I'm going to buy one. It's a no con or 900 or a thousand or something like that. It's a camera and they're able to focus in on what you would call a planet. And it's just pulsating beautiful, different shapes which are all the shapes that we're seeing on all these walls, all these concrete things that everybody's like, <laughs> it's evil. They made it evil. That's the psyop of being the psyop. <laughs> so you got creatures <laughs> that are running around Excuse me, this is really strong weed, guys, and it's pretty good. And I'm going to carry on. <coughs> yeah, it's just good. Mm. So you have people that are running around in a psyop within a psyop, if you can understand that. So if you want to strip it back to the original sounds, frequencies, and shapes, these are the shapes. Then another one, your Allison Crowley's and all these weird fucks um, that came in and usurped it, utilizing it for a wicked purpose and, and twisting it, okay? And throwing it in your faces for like their own messaging and their own symbolized conversing together for maybe what we're seeing now. But the psyop is they stole it. Just like uh, Jesus spoke about in his day that they stole the knowledge, the Pharisees and the, and the scribes, okay? So of course you're going to put in there maybe stories about don't you do this because you're sinning if you find out the knowledge, It's just really deceptive, you guys. Find the knowledge. Understand what I'm saying to you without saying that, I guess. So I'm going to show you one day that's already happened and then they know about. And in Revelations, they're telling you exactly what they know. Okay. And I will go to... where it states here we go 
This is in Revelations, and I'm going to read it to you, and this would be where it tells you, and Jesus told you, let's get this straight, people. He made the sun, the moon, and the stars to show you the times and the seasons so that you can follow them. You got to understand when they read in the Bible and they talk about the birth and the star of Jupiter, which is a full set, it's beautiful. That is what the wise men, the, they were following, right? So the wise men were following the stars. So don't let them steal that from you. It's glorious. It's, you know, it's as above and so below as far as our, what we need to understand. When it comes to your Bible, I'm going to read you the chapter, which correlates and has not lined up since 2,000 years ago with our Lord Jesus Christ's birth that they speak of, which is the alignment in these constellations that I'm going to read about that are lining up now 2,000 years. And then you, you go to your Bible after I show you the chapter and where we're at and it already lined up. You go and follow through the Revelation script of what they know of the knowledge that they're keeping from you. And they're not even telling you, and the churches aren't even aware of what their Bible is actually telling them. Okay, let's let's deep dive into what <clears throat> what happened on September twenty third, twenty seventeen. Okay, in Revelations eleven twelve, you've got. The woman and the dragon. Let's read on. The woman and the dragon. I don't smoke too deep, but I was doing the dragon. Anyways, Revelations 11, 12. A great wondrous sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun. Now I'm going to stop. <clears throat> the woman is Virgo in the heavens, the constellation of heavens. And she's clothed with the sun. It's on her shoulder, shining down on her. With the moon under her feet, and in that constellation of Virgo, the moon was under her feet on September 23rd, 2017. And a crown of 12 stars on her head. That would be Leo. Okay, that's the constellation Leo above Virgo. And normally has nine stars. And the, the position of three planets that lined up, I believe it was Saturn, Mercury and Mars made the nine stars in Leo, the 12 stars, that was her crown. Okay, we're talking about the heavens that our God made. It's right here in the Bible in Revelation. It's telling you what to look for. It already happened. September 23rd, 2017. It's been 2,000 years since it's happened. Okay? She, pregnant, cried out in pain 